up guys? So today we're gonna to be making the final component in our intake manifold assembly for no stone manufacturing. You may have seen this project that we've been doing here recently and this is gonna be the last part we make. Now this one's gonna be unique because it is 304 stainless. So we're gonna be making this on our Sile X9 and we decided to get a little creative with this part because this is the first time we've ran stainless on the machine. So we just kind of wanted to put it through its paces just a little bit with what we can get away with and see how the machine reacts to it. So we're gonna be throwing some different tools, different processes at it, just to see how the machine handles it. So I'm gonna jump into solid cam here and I'm gonna take you through this process similar to how I did in the other videos. So we're gonna start this part out by finishing the backside first and roughing, finishing the outside profile. So that way we can flip it over and build a fixture for the opposite side. So we're gonna start on this backside and come in with a dodeca face mill. I think this is a three inch dodeca and we're gonna face that top. Now we're gonna take off the minimal amount of stock just to clean this side up because we don't have a lot of material to hold on to. So when we rough and finish this outside, we don't wanna to have to go too much further past our finished walls. After we get it faced, we're gonna come in with a one inch drill. This is that same drill that we used on the base flange in that very first video. And we're gonna drill out these big holes. So if you're interested in purchasing one of these machines, make sure you check out titansofcnc.com or contact Keith directly at Keith at titansofcnc.com. Next, we're gonna take a half inch Harvey three and rough out the outside. Now here's where we're gonna start playing with things a little bit. We're gonna start pushing the tool and see what we can get away with. Now we're using Solicam's eye machining on this. So this takes away a lot of the guesswork for us and we tell it how hard we can push it and it will look at the machine horsepower and stuff like that and determine what feeds and speeds it can get away with. So I believe we ended up somewhere around a 75,000 step over. So we're around somewhere around 4,300 RPMs, 150 inches a minute. So we're gonna see how that sounds and acts at the machine and we may adjust it there to see what we can get away with. This part I think is only around a half inch thick. So if I come over here and simulate this, this is probably only going down around a half inch. So yeah, so about 520 down. So that shouldn't be a whole lot of tool pressure on our tool. And it's a six flute tool, so we can go pretty fast with this. So after the outside, we're gonna step in on the inside and rough out those bores. And then we'll come down with a smaller tool. We're gonna to step down to a 3 8 Harvey 3 pick out these corners where the half inch tool couldn't reach, and then we'll take that same tool and start finishing the outside. So as you can see, this is a very simple process on this side, it's very straightforward. There's nothing really crazy going on here. And then what I'm gonna do to help probe for the second op, I'm gonna come in on these two end holes right here, and I'm gonna drop all the way through the material. And I'm gonna do a finish pass but I'm not gonna go all the way against the wall. So I'm gonna leave like five thousandths of stock there. And that's just so I can drop through with that probe and actually probe the finished surface from side one. That's gonna let me probe that finished surface of the actual part. So I really like doing that. You see me do that in the other videos. And anytime I can probe on finished clean surfaces from off one, that's what I like to do. So after we get everything finished, we're gonna come in with a 3 8 drill and drill our holes. And after that, for this first stop, the only thing left to do is to chamfer all of our features. Boombastic 2025 is coming up and you guys need to go get your tickets now. You can click the link in the description below. It is going to be an incredible event. We will have over 50 machines on this floor. It's a full white glove service. We're gonna be serving you awesome food and you don't wanna miss out on all the giveaway opportunities that you're gonna be entered in just by being here. So go click the link in the description, grab your tickets and we will see you in November. Now for op two, I think the easiest thing for us to do here is take a big piece of raw stock and we're just gonna deck the top and 
mill it for Mighty Bite expansion pins. We've already got these expansion pins sitting on the shelf and we just so happens to drill a perfect 3 8 hole. So the good thing is, is we don't have to do any modification to our Mighty Bites. They're perfect for these 3 8 holes. So all we gotta do is press fit them in to our stock and they will also help locate the part perfectly because they are so close in size. But two is we do have our surface that we're gonna probe on every part. So once we get that done, we're gonna flip it over for side two. Now we have that hat of material we gotta deal with here. Now this is one of the things we decided to get creative with and we're gonna take a Harvey 1TE that you know we love and we're going to full slot around this part. Now obviously we're gonna stay off of the finished surface a little bit, but we're gonna full slot around this part and get rid of that hat of material. After we run the TE and get rid of that hat, this is another part that we just wanted to experiment with and we wanted to see how the X9 handles a high feed mill. So we're gonna come in with a one and a half inch diameter high feed mill and kind of rough out around these little bosses sticking up. As you can see, there's just this little ball sticking up with a 60 thou radius. So we're gonna rough it out with a high feed mill and see how it does. Now, as you know, a high feed mill is notorious for leaving a lot of stock behind for the sheer nature of how the insert is shaped. So we're gonna to have to come in and clean up these corners. Now we know that, but that's not a big deal at all. So we're gonna come in with a half inch end mill and we're gonna finish that top face. And then we'll drop down with that same tool. We'll start finishing the floor and finishing around these bosses. So the half inch tool that we have has a 60 thou radius, so we don't have to do nothing special there, no surface blending. We're just gonna go right up to that wall, do our finish pass. Now, since that tool does have that 60 thou radius, we're gonna to switch tools so we can finish the inside, this little counter bore here because it is modeled with a sharp corner. So we're gonna put a sharp corner in the mill in there and finish that counterboard. And then pretty straightforward after that, all that's left to do is chamfer. So we'll drop in here and do the chamfer. Now, obviously we gotta watch these side walls like we did on that last part I did and make sure that the side of the tool doesn't ram into these walls. But other than that, it's a pretty simple process. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. This is gonna wrap up the project we've been doing for No Stone Manufacturing. It's been a really fun process. I hope we get to do more stuff like this for our future customers. And I hope you guys enjoyed us getting to play around with this part a little bit and playing with some of the processes. Now we got a lot of new machines coming in the shop. So a lot of good content coming for you guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We'll see you on the next one.